The different splints that we currently have on the market in veterinary medicine, we have some that are very firm, hard plastic that we have to cut down and file edges on. You have some ones that are spoon-like and they don't work on front and back accordingly. So you really are having to buy multiple splints for both sizes and different legs. And so it's not really cost effective to a lot of small animal practices. Injury Shield, it needs to be in every veterinary hospital because you can go from a kitten leg for stabilization to a Great Dane for wound protection to a tortoise for possible shell um, repair. So you really can take the material in all these different aspects. What I tend to do is I'll get a glass bowl, put water in it, and we'll put it into the microwave. What we're waiting for is the material to actually go transparent and we know that it's reached the right um, heat. The water is still very hot, but usually if you get something to pull it out of the water, the material it is, itself is, is easy to handle. And then once you get it into your hands, it's just a matter of Play-Doh or Silly Putty, however you want to think of it. You're just working it around to get it in the right shape and density that you want to put on an animal. I think the most exciting thing about the product is that I haven't start, stopped figuring out the different ways I could use it. Literally in all the different venues of veterinary medicine, whether it's dentistry, surgery, orthopedics, any kind of injury aspect, there's probably a way to implement the use of this material because there's nothing really limiting it other than what I can come up with how to use it.